AlphaGo is the first computer program to ever beat a professional human player at the game of Go. It uses general learning techniques, including deep neural networks. It learns by playing thousands of games against itself and incrementally learning from its mistakes. We've been working on AlphaGo for nearly three years now, and the first big event we had with it was to play the European champion Fan Wei, and then we took it to Seoul to play the great Lisa Doll in a five-game match in March 2016. And then more recently, we played a series of online games on, uh, against some of the strongest players in the world. AlphaGo's legacy, I think, is going to be uh, several fold. Many of the professional Go players tell us that they've been inspired to think about whole new ideas and motifs for strategies in the game of Go, having seen what AlphaGo comes up with. In fact, after the game, Lisa Doll told me that it was one of the most amazing experiences of his life and that uh, the match had sort of renewed passion for the game and he was going to explore much further the limits of the game and try and be even more creative than uh, in his play. I think AlphaGo's successes hint at the possibility for general AI to be applied to a wide range of tasks and areas, to perhaps find solutions to problems that we as human experts may not have considered. So China is the birthplace of Go more than 3,000 years ago. There's been a huge demand from the Go community, especially the Chinese Go community, to stage a match like this and test the best players in China against AlphaGo. What we're really excited about is uh, exploring the limits of the game and trying to find out the truth about the game, hand in hand with the top professional Go players. For the first time ever, AlphaGo will also be playing other game formats like Pair Go and Team Go. So we're hoping that um, after these matches, we'll have discovered some beautiful new moves and beautiful new ideas that can then take Go to another level.